questions for Coach? Starting off with your, your win against Notre Dame, um, what would you like and what do you feel like so needs to be ironed out before the season starts? Well, winning's great, so we'd like to start with a win. That's, that's a good thing. I think we competed really well. Uh, had some individual moments we were pretty good. Um, need to be more connected in terms of what we're doing on both sides of the ball, in possession, out of possession. Uh, but the effort was great. I'm really happy with the, the performance overall, especially seven days into, into preseason. It's, um, it's a good start. We have a lot of things to, to kind of work through and get connected on, but it was a good start. And obviously getting a shutout and three goals is always great. What was your biggest takeaway from that first outing, getting that first real look of the team and where they're standing? Really, it was about our, our connectedness, you know, in, in terms of what we're doing together, and, and I think that's always to be expected in preseason, right? We're a limited time and limited time to work as, as a group of 11, so I think that was the biggest thing of we had some moments on in both sides where we had a lot of things in order of what we wanted to do, but maybe one piece was missing, so trying to get everything together and, and working simultaneously was, was probably the biggest thing we, we need to get more consistent within. What was that one piece? Can you elaborate? Uh, I think it was it was on both sides of the ball, in possession, out of possession. You know, you got to be connected, and, and all eleven players defending, and, and sometimes we didn't have that. And then the uh, the relationships we have in possession. You know, whether that's in a, in the build up, in the final third, of just time spent playing with one another. Um, so it's one thing to talk about it and see it in in the video room. Uh, it's another thing to do it at speed on the field against a really good team. How are the girls adjusting to your style? Oh, I think they've been great. They're they're rolling with it. They are. Um, there's no changes in them. I mean, we're we're still the same. John and I are the same people. So it's not not a lot there. I think just continuing to layer information in and, and add on to what we've done in the past is really where we're at and what we're trying to do. So you went with a three back without you know running French scratch running last year. You got great defense fit with Abby. How did you like the look of that? Well, it's something we looked at a little bit in the spring, and we'll continue to experiment with different different shapes and different ideas. We've talked a lot about. Uh, shapes are starting positions, uh, but we're going to play our identity is going to be uh, able to be played across multiple systems. So it's really it's starting positions. So whether we have three in the back or four in the back or five in the back, um, we want our players to be understanding what we're trying to do and how we're going to manage that space. What excites you most about your first season as head coach here? Uh, the opportunity in front of this team. They're they're motivated. They're excited. Uh, they're passionate about winning. They're passionate about enjoying that journey. And, and that's been evident throughout preseason of just enjoy being around one another. They enjoy competing and, and they have a lot of fun doing it. So I think that that's, that's what's most important, not important, but most exciting is that of they want to win. We want to win. Um, and you know, as I alluded to earlier, their, their competitive uh, nature is, is already shown through on the training field as well as up in Louisville against Notre Dame. And it's, it's about getting us connected so that we're ready to do it together and, and a little bit better than where we are right now. Freshman, how is the number six signing class adjusting to things here? Great, just throwing a lot of information at them. You know, I think that's the, the compressed preseason we have, and, and we all talk about it as, as coaches. The amount of information they get thrown at them is just a lot. So trying to get them to process all that and understand it and then do it at speed is, is hard, but they've been amazing. They've been great. Um, they continue to, to get better each time they get on the field and, and certainly more comfortable being around us and, and their team. I saw these there at the field. Beforehand, what are your thoughts on it so far? Obviously, it's not finished, and how excited are you guys to get out there and play on it? I couldn't be more excited for, for what the administration has done and getting us a new service, surface and, and bringing fans closer to the field with the two berms on the far side is going to be huge and just create even stronger home field advantage for our, our team and our players. Um, you know, we're, we're obviously still still getting some sand out there. We've got to get some lines out there. Probably some goals would help too. Uh, but it, it's, it's a great surface and, and they've worked hard all summer to get it ready for, for this weekend. So we couldn't be more excited uh, to get out there and play. What about the blue threads, Summit Blue? Uh, incredible, and obviously honoring the, the legacy of, of not only what we've built here at Tennessee, and, and certainly we being you know, Coach Summit and Joan, but um, what, other, what other women have done across the country in Title IX, and, and the opportunities that our players now have because of them is, you know, it's, only, it's just a way we can honor what's been done before them, and, and we couldn't be more excited to, to wear that um, this fall. Why do you feel like this team is primed for you know repeating success of last year, uh, winning an SEC tournament, et cetera, like that? Why? Yeah. Uh, I think our experience. Uh, we've got again ten returning starters that have done it at a high level. They're a year older. Um, they're a year better. They're a year more motivated. They they felt 
upset about how their season ended and have worked incredibly hard this summer to put themselves in a great place to go, go chase another championship. Who do you feel like, I know you hate singling out players, but who do you feel like has stood out so far early in camp? Oh, that's a great question. I think we've had a lot of players stand out in, in different areas. Um, you know, Jada's obviously a handful um, up top in the midfield. The combination of Abby and Jordan and Taylor is, is one of the best midfields in the country. And we've got you know, three starting backs and a goalkeeper back there that are, that are pretty darn impressive. So we've got players in all three lines, four lines if you include our goalkeepers, that are, um, have been performing well. Again, it's the consistency piece right now. We've been inconsistent in, in kind of our ability to um, – um, to execute and, and I think that's the biggest thing right now is getting us all on the same page and executing uh, at a high speed. Mackenzie George, fifth year senior, was a major piece in the offense last year. What does her presence on this team do for them? Uh, I mean, she's energy. She loves to play. She loves to compete. So uh, and she's just a handful to deal with. I think, you know, she opens up so many things for other players by her her ability individually to solve pressure. And, and that forces another player to come in, which opens up space, which gives, you know, whether it's Jada or Taylor or Jordan or any of those midfielders to then exploit that space that George is opening up. So she's, she's just an enigma of herself. She's She's got some qualities that you can't coach. And She's innately competitive and quick and driven and, and makes the game really hard for opposing back lines. She also has an insane off-season workout schedule that she creates for herself. What do you know about that? How impressive is that? And, and have you noticed a marketing difference in her like strength on the ball and on the field? Uh, I think right now it's Ken's is Ken's. Like she's, she's driven. It's what makes her special. Um, and, and we support it. I think it's, it's all about balancing happiness and life and readiness and all that and in the summer she doesn't have games to play so she can get after it and, and she certainly did this summer but I think now it's about her focus um, putting the work in on the field uh, but she's she's an amazing young woman who's um, very passionate about what she does on the field and off the field and um, not many like her. Take it off. Put herself at the top of the scouting reports this season after an amazing freshman season. What have you seen from her in developing heading into her sophomore season? I think just more more confidence and you know asking her to take more of a, a leadership role on the field and, and really you know make the players around her better and, and you know she's she's working on that and, and obviously has a ton of confidence going into camp with the 20s and um, she's another one that just desperately wants to win and is so competitive and so driven to be great it, it's um, it's fun to see her be more comfortable now in, in the environment she's in being here for a year and. Um, and really just bring that to the, the field every day. How about the leadership on this team? You talked about the, the newcomers and the young guys, but what about the leaders you have on the team? They, I mean, they run the team. Honestly, it's, you know, John and Hemont and Becky and myself, we're, you know, we're there making sure everybody's in one place, but, but our leadership group uh, is, is phenomenal. Uh, they, they manage the team and they do a phenomenal job of that. Uh, they're ready to play, they're excited. Just watching dinner, you know, they're all they're all engaged with one another, and it's it's really fun to watch. Just their comfort in each other, their accepting of one another, and and their accountability piece. They hold each other accountable to to be great on the field. So they they've done an amazing job of integrating with with the freshmen. It's it's nice having them all in, in Stokely for the most part right now. So they spent a lot of time together, um, just away from the field, which which is a big deal. There's the relationships on the field and off the field, and they've been working really hard on both. How have you seen Becky kind of impact the team so far? Uh, well, she, right now she's doing it from afar because she's currently finishing up their game against uh, Ghana in the first round of the U20 World Cup. So she's been um, with the U.S. under-20s for the last two weeks. Uh, but she's been checking in and be able to see some training in, in some of our games. So um, her full impact, we'll see. Um, I know she's been checking in, and we're, we're excited for her to get back once she finishes her duty with the U20s. But um, yeah, she'll be a big addition for us. What was the decision behind what made her the right assistant for the job, I guess? You know, we're, we always look at ourselves and, and how can we be better? How can we provide for our athletes, uh, you know, an environment where they can grow and excel? And um, you know, looking at our staff, John and I have worked together for a number of years and, and Hemont as well, but really thought our players needed a, you know, a role model that is, that's been there. And, and Becky, Becky's done it as a player both in collegiate ranks, um, with the national team, um, and then professionally. So having someone on our staff that, that has coached at a high level, played at a high level, um, and 
can give that information to our players as, as they have aspirations to do the same, it, it was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer, and I think um, couldn't be more more excited about what she's going to bring for, for our players, ultimately, and our staff, but our players. I know in the, when we discussed earlier, you said it's always about the players first. How during camp are you making that your motto? Oh, I think it's about you know managing managing their workload, both uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. And, and we talked the first day about you're going to get a ton of information. And, and after after training sessions, they they all fill out a questionnaire, and, and that's how difficult was it physically, how difficult was it mentally, and overall how hard was the day, and, and giving us an idea of okay, where is their stress, and, and we've got to stress and load them in different ways, but we also got to make sure they're rested and ready to go so I think that that's been that's been the biggest balance is just um, making sure they're they're fresh um, during a, a really congested time both physically and mentally so giving them rest and giving them days off yesterday we were on a little trip away to just give them a break and they had a blast they had a blast on the river so good times good times so finding the balance of on the field in the classroom in the video room and then just having fun with one another anything else one more, how do you feel about Team Dog Rocky? Team what? Team Dog Rocky. Oh, Team Dog Rocky. I was like, which one? There's so many dogs. <laughs> um, well, there's obviously Smokey first, so we got to sure, sure. love Smokey. But Rocky's, Rocky's been uh, a big part of the program for sure. He's, uh, he's, he's like a second Smokey, and he's very comfortable here. And everybody loves him. He loves everybody. Um, he's, he's fun to have around. He's fun to have around. So, yeah, everybody, everybody loves Rocky.